I'm really excited about the video series I'm going to be putting together for you guys. It's going to be an overland trailer build. You can see the trailer behind me. My wife and I were able to pick it up from a good friend of ours uh, for a great deal. And I'm going to give you a walk around, talk about the trailer, and talk about what I'm going to do. But I'm hoping to knock out a lot of what I want to do today um, pretty quickly. We'll just see. And uh, anyway, just at least get it started and just be adding to it as we go along little by little. But uh, we're excited about this. It'll give us more room on our camping trips uh, and be able to take more people on the trip. So thanks for joining and looking forward to doing this with you. I was excited there was a military style tow pintle. This allows for a greater range of movement while off-roading. It does make a lot of noise, but it's fantastic for off-roading. You can see all the metal on the front. There's a handbrake, that heavy-duty box. All that's going to come off. It looks like somebody's already started some body work on it, but there's still a lot of rust. I'm going to pull off those reflectors and the lights, and we're going to sand it all down. There's the door. Uh, it has venting for the trailer, which is important, I guess, for a lot of trailers, but it's not very sealed very well, I don't think. But the biggest project is getting all this metal off the front, and it is a hassle. Um, the inside has got some cool compartments. And, I, and, and also, if you know what kind of trailer this is, it's registered or the title says a Tesco trailer, but I believe it was a military style utility trailer, uh, electrical trailer. But if you know, leave a comment. It'd be awesome. I'm just kind of curious. But here I'm just trying to grind all this metal off. And I must have went through 15 grinding wheels getting this thing off. I know I could have used a cutting torch, which I'll, I just have a very small one. But I finally got it off with a lot of hammering and, and prying. I, I get it all pulled off there. Uh, it was a lot of work, but it allows me to put a Harbor Freight uh, storage box on the front. And this next bit, you're going to see me uh, after it's been sanded. All right, I've finished sanding it. Now I've just pressure washed it off and going to be wiping it down with some alcohol to get it ready for the paint job. I purchased um, these large paint cans that are for automotive. They're, they're twice the size of a regular spray can. And it covers a larger area when you spray. So I was able to uh, cover a bigger area and get it painted much faster. And I was dealing with uh, rainy weather, so I was hurrying up trying to get this done. I even got the inside. But I like the way it turned out. I painted it matte black. All right, it's uh, day two of this project. The cool thing is, you can see, I got the whole thing painted last night. I even got the, all that metal, which you've watched a clip of that already. It was a stinking nightmare. Trying to get all that stuff off there, I must have uh, cut and cut and cut. I went through so many blades, it was ridiculous. Grinding blades. And uh, But I'm now working on the tires. I got them pulled off. I've got the trailer blocked up. Here's the tires. Tried to sand them clean them up get as much rust off as possible and I used some WD-40 which might have been a little bit of a mistake so I'm really trying to wash them I'm gonna go get some alcohol and wipe them down and then here's the hubcaps the mini hubcaps which I'm gonna spray paint matte black as well I don't really want chrome on this little beast whatever we're gonna call it not sure but uh we're getting there little by little trying to keep it as cheap as possible and just a little bit of paint and some uh sweat put into it so far so it's all ready for the harbor freight storage box the roto packs from rock slide i repurposed from the jeep the hubcaps that you see there i didn't really like them but the first trip we went on down in moab bouncing down a road they just kept popping off so we got rid of them put new lights on from harbor freight new reflectors but overall it was ready for some upgrades, and so the storage box was the first one. And then I went to a hardware store and bought a few pieces of metal and, and built a roof rack and some aluminum strips and built a mount for the recovery boards. This shelf was something I really wanted to build for my wife so she could cook on and we could cook on and... Uh, put a rubber strip on the back to protect the side of the trailer 
It was just a pegboard for like $15 at Home Depot. So the complete cost of building this was $750 compared to purchasing a brand new trailer, Overland trailer, which could be anywhere from thirteen to thirty some thousand dollars. I'd say we were very blessed and we're excited to put this thing to use next spring and summer. And here's some video clips for you guys of it in use. 